Hey everybody, Tiny House Dreaming here. It is Saturday about 6 o'clock, I think maybe. As you can see out the front window, it is dark outside. Um, so the only reason I'm not shooting where I'm showing you my face for a minute is because it's dark in here. But at least when I have the camera turned this way, I get the flash. Um, you guys know I haven't really been feeling well, but today I do feel a little better, had more energy. Um, I slept in a long time, like till one o'clock. I mean, I kept waking up and stuff, but I did get some rest, which helped. So I just came from the grocery store. It's going to be a pretty boring cooking night, but I am going to cook this. I haven't had the three cheese chicken kind yet and haven't really eaten anything today. So this is, even though these aren't really good for you, like, let's see, where are the nutrition facts here? There they go. It's not really that healthy for you, but, like, I haven't been eating all day, so, like, this is, ooh, that sodium is horrible. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm just going to eat this today. I'm going to pause this and come back in a moment. Alright, guys, so I'm back. I did not realize that this chicken, voila, this three cheese thing has this cheese pouch. Um... So, I don't have a way to really thaw it. I'm going to try to see what I can do. But I have the stuff in there. And I got my water in there. So, I'm going to still try to go with it. It might be kind of a waste. And I might have to go back in the grocery store and get some other type that doesn't have a sauce packet. Like, none of the other ones. I've only tried two of them. The garlic chicken and the Alfredo chicken. But neither one of those have that sauce packet. So, I'm going to pause again. And see what I can do with this sauce packet and try to get it melted. Because I guess that's the cheesy part of this meal. And then this is just starting to cook. Did my flame go out? Nope, my flame is still there. Um, so yeah, and then I have the door cracked. So I have some ventilation and it's literally right by here. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I ended up doing, I kind of squished the sauce packet. It's a pretty big piece of, like, sauce packet. But it says that you're supposed to melt it in a microwave and then, like, put it in there at the same time you start the other stuff. And so I put it in there. I forgot to dig out my silicone thing. It's over there in my kitchen bucket, I guess what you call it. But I'm going to try to dig that out in a minute. Um, so I'm going to pause again and I'll be back. I'm going to try to stir this stuff up so that cheesy sauce can kind of melt. This oven gets pretty, um, or stove top that gets pretty hot pretty quickly. So I'm thinking it might melt the cheese sauce. We'll find out. I will be back. Okay, guys. So, oh, sorry. Got some pepper in my throat. So I found my silicone spoon thing like in the bucket real quick while I was paused and it looks like the cheese stuff has melted so obstacle alive what I don't even know what I'm trying to say obstacle alleviated or eliminated something whatever I think you guys know what I mean but so I'm just stirring it up now the bag after I read it like I'm so backwards where I didn't read the bag instructions. I just assumed it was like the other two um, where you pour like a three-fourths cup of water in with it. But this one said put the packet in and one spoonful of water. So I put a lot more water, but I'm eyeballing it anyways. Even though I have a measuring cup, I didn't actually pull it out and use it. Um, but I did add my crushed red peppers. I love them. And this water will evaporate on its own so I'm not really too worried about that but this is boring like this would be a pretty meal if I actually like did everything from scratch but thankfully the bag did it all for me so I'm gonna just sit here and continue stirring and I will come back to you um, as soon as it's all done and maybe once I have it on a plate and then tomorrow, I think I'm going to cook some black bean tacos again because I have my can of black beans. I was going to cook it the other day, but then I started not feeling well. Um, so that kind of got put to the back burner. But I have the tortillas. I have the black beans. I bought some salsa 
today earlier when I just was in the store anyways. So the only thing I really have to go buy again is the sour cream. And then I'll have everything for it. Um, and I actually, like you could kind of see up here, I got rid of my, um, that little styrofoam cooler just because it was so big and like I wasn't really keeping anything in it or buying ice for it. So it was just kind of taking up space for no reason. And if I'm not making use of it, it has to go. So I didn't, I don't have that anymore. Um, I'm going to just try to only buy what I need for the day to cook with. So I'll probably end up unfortunately wasting some sour cream tomorrow because there's no way I can eat that whole even I'm gonna buy the littlest thing that they have but I still can't eat that much sour cream in one sitting and I definitely don't want to be sick in a van by trying to eat some dairy products that is not good anymore so there we have it so I'll be back in a minute guys all right so the juice is starting to um you know almost evaporate out of it fully and it's starting to look like a pasta dish that it's supposed to look like um real quick while i have you guys and while we're just waiting for these last few minutes i wanted to tell you about this um plastic thing that i got this tote it's a 12 gallon tote that i got from home depot and it was six dollars and 97 cents but i was so excited because i wanted something that i could like something that could i could keep stuff in and that um, had a hard surface so I could actually cook so I wasn't cooking on the van floor like I had been previously. So when I saw it, this at Home Depot, because if you guys can tell, it has like a, it goes in like um, the lid of it. And it actually is pretty deep. Like here, if you look at my finger, it's about that deep. Um, so like maybe an inch and a half, two inches. Well, not probably not two inches. But it's really cool to cook on because just, I mean, I'm always going to be stationary when I'm cooking because I'm back here and not driving. But like my stove can't accidentally knock off like it's in the, you know, in the groove where it's not going to move around too much. And I still have room to like leave my little silicone thing on the side as I'm cooking. So I don't have to like prop it up against anything. But... It's almost coming to an end, so I'm going to be back with the last pause of the video, and I'll show it to you on my plate. Alrighty, guys. See you in a minute. Alright, guys. So, there's the finished product. I cleaned my skillet out by boiling some water in it and then kind of wiping it out afterwards. And I still have to clean my little silicone -y thing. But the fire's off. I'm just allowing it to cool down here. I'll put this in my lap. See, fire's off. I just, this thing gets kind of warm. So you want to like let it cool down. Oh my gosh, look, there's broccoli over there. Okay, I'm going to finish cleaning up. I'm going to enjoy my meal. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Sorry that this is all I got, but that's all I got. Oh, I did go get an oil change today. So I did do something productive. I went to Valvoline and the guys there were super nice. They were super speedy. See, I got to clean my pan a little better. Um, they were super speedy, and they did a great job. I was, like, in and out of there in probably 15 minutes. Um, and they were just all really helpful, informative, and I recommend Valvoline. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching, and live well, eat well, and be well. And I'll try to do the same.